As you can tell by the title, I like SeaWorld Orlando more than Busch Gardens Tampa. But you're probably wondering, why on earth would you like SeaWorld more than Busch Gardens? I mean, Busch Gardens has a better coaster lineup. And from a business perspective, there's not as much controversy surrounding Busch Gardens as opposed to the SeaWorld chain. Thank you, Blackfish. So let me explain my hot take, and I will stand by this and defend it because it's what I believe. So to start off, I have had two bad experiences at Busch Gardens. I've only been to the park twice, but both of the times I didn't have very great experiences. The first time it was raining in and out all day, and the second time uh, we stopped on the way so we got separated from our group and then they were riding rides and then we were riding rides and before we even got into the park there was a miscommunication about our tickets working but since we got into the park at different times we rode different rides so they were in line for cheetah hunt and they didn't want to get out of line so we got in line for tigers and then we already rode tigers but they wanted to ride tigers so then they went over to tigers and we rode a different ride and then we would try and meet up constantly and then get separated because we've already been on that ride so we'll try and go ride one of the rides that they've already been on it was a nightmare Not to mention that there was a storm in the area, so all the rides were shut down for a good solid few hours, and we waited forever for food, but there was nothing else to do, so might as well wait for food. And I know that bad experiences don't necessarily make a park bad, but I feel like it does contribute to how I view this park. Despite my bad experiences, I still believe that SeaWorld Orlando is better than Busch Gardens Tampa, and I have reasons. So the main reason that I like SeaWorld Orlando more than Busch Gardens Tampa is because of one big thing, atmosphere. One of the biggest things that goes into atmosphere is theming. So if we compare the theming at SeaWorld Orlando and Busch Gardens Tampa to other parks in the area, SeaWorld has a very unique theme. There is no other park in the area that is themed to sea and water and stuff. If we look at Bush Gardens, they have a very big emphasis on land animals as opposed to sea animals. And there's another park in Florida that also has a big emphasis on land animals and that is Disney's Animal Kingdom, which is one of the best theme parks in terms of atmosphere anywhere. So. Bush Gardens Tampa just feels like a dumbed down version of Animal Kingdom. And I think SeaWorld Orlando has better overall theming. Like if we take a look at Manta's Q, that's awesome. You're right there up next to the aquarium. What other ride does that? And then we take a look at some of the rides at Bush Gardens. Like their newest open coaster, Tigris, doesn't even have any theming. It's basically just you get in line and there's the ride. Notice how I said open ride, because there's still that really expensive art piece that's sitting in the middle of the park that has yet to open. Oh, Iron Gwazi, still the butt of all our jokes two years running. Anyways, I will admit that some of the queues at SeaWorld Orlando are basically the same, where it's just a line that kettle pins with minimal theming. I get it. This was kind of a bad point, let's just move on. One thing that I think SeaWorld does better is they have distinctly themed areas. Like if we take a look at their kids area, Sesame Street. There are a lot of fun things to do and explore in that area and if you know Sesame Street is really well themed. Like I have fun walking around there and I am too old to really be enjoying that sort of stuff. But I do enjoy it. They also have Antarctica, which is a very distinct theme for the rest of the park. And I will admit, it does not have enough shade for this being a Florida park and all the white just seems to reflect all the light back onto you, but, you know, it's a distinct area. I would say that with Bush Gardens, the only distinct area to me would be Egypt. Maybe their kids area, but still even then, that blends in pretty well, so the only one that sticks out is Egypt to me. The rest of the park just kind of feels the same all the way around, like generic Africa feel. Now here's a point that's really important to me, but almost no one else seems to care as much as I do, and that is the use of unique soundtracks. 
the only ride that I can remember at Busch Gardens that had its own unique soundtrack was Tigris. Which, I'm glad they have at least one, but it would be nice if they had more. Whereas at SeaWorld, each of their main coasters has its own unique soundtrack, and even with Manta and Mako, those rides have a lot of path interaction, so when they go around, it plays a unique soundtrack in the area which just draws your attention to it. Like just give this a listen. Atlantis has a banger of a soundtrack. Just wanted to throw that in there. And on my last trip to Florida, I was able to watch both of the fireworks shows at these parks, and one is undoubtedly better than the other. Ignite at SeaWorld Orlando has its own soundtrack and its own fireworks show, and it is really, really good. It is one of my favorite non-Disney fireworks shows, probably my favorite non-Disney fireworks show. And then we take a look at Bush Gardens. All they did was play generic pop music. And while I was at SeaWorld, I did hear pop songs that were playing around the park, but I felt like they were more prevalent at Bush Gardens Tampa. To me, it's like a movie that doesn't have its own soundtrack, but instead it just uses pop songs to convey the feeling that they want you to feel. It's just not as immersive. It doesn't tell you the story that should be told. It just gives you a generic feeling that pulls from past memories. And I'll probably make a video about theme park ambiance, and I'll have a big emphasis on music in that video. So if you find my rambling annoying, then don't worry, I'm done rambling in this video about that. So now that I've argued my case up and down about why SeaWorld Orlando has better theming, why do they have better theming? Geographically, SeaWorld Orlando is right in the center of Orlando, so it has to compete with both the Universal Parks and the Disney Parks to draw people into their parks so that they can make money. Disney and Universal are known for their theming, and majority of the people that go to Florida go just for Disney, I get that. But there are people that will branch out and they'll also go to Universal, and then they'll also might go to SeaWorld. And so SeaWorld has to be enticing enough to draw people in, and when they just came from Disney and they go to SeaWorld, that theming better be good enough to give them a good experience. Then if we compare this to Busch Gardens, that is far enough away that they don't really need to be as well themed because it's a hike to get out there from Orlando. And so they're just attracting a different crowd of people. Orlando isn't their target audience. So Busch Gardens brings in people by announcing new and exciting roller coasters, some of which don't open for a few years, but you know, I'll stop making jokes about that now. I think that SeaWorld Orlando is a more rounded park, whereas Busch Gardens Tampa doesn't even have a good dark ride. Do they have any? Because I don't think they do. They have some pretty great coasters, but then the rest of the park doesn't really stand out in any way. If you're going to Busch Gardens, you're going for the roller coasters, whereas SeaWorld attracts more of a family audience. So with all these things in mind, yeah, I like SeaWorld Orlando better. It offers a wider variety of things to do, and the theming is just a lot better, the atmosphere is better. I feel like it's more fun to walk around that park than it is to walk around Busch Gardens. I feel a lot more immersed at SeaWorld than I do at Busch Gardens. But that's just my hot take. I would love to know what you think of both of these parks. Do you agree? And odds are you probably disagree, but I would love to know your reasoning as to why. And thank you so much for watching. Go live an enthused life. God bless.